Hey, how's it going everybody? It is the Recycle King. We're back again. Today we're doing, we're starting the first episode of Recycle Talk with me. And we're going to be doing some sorting. And we're going to be talking about just a general uh, recycle, anything that has to do with recycling. Okay. So, I'm not going to be dumping any of the water bottles or counting any of the water bottles. We'll do that later. I'm just getting ready for today's uh, run to the recycle center. So uh, I have pre-bagged bags of 100. And the 100 water bottles will get you $5 a bag. Or if you go to a place that only does 50, then you'll get... Then you can only bring 50 and get $2.50 for a bag. And... um. As far as everything else goes, your most of your money here is going to be on the weight, for sure. The weight on the plastic. See, a lot of people like to do cans, only cans. But the thing about that is the cans are always going to be the same thickness, right? They might be a little bigger or whatever, a little thinner, a little more slender, narrow, fatter, whatever the case is. So you're always going to get more money on the plastic because plastic comes in various shapes and sizes and thicknesses. This is a little thicker than your normal water bottle. And then you got Gatorade bottles, which are my favorite. Everybody knows the Gatorade bottles are the best. So I'm going to get most of my money off of the thicker plastic weight. So that's what I'm always shooting for. I'm always trying to find the real nice heavy plastic. And as far as how much money I get, this what I'm sorting right now, I got about, I got three trash cans full, and that is from Saturday and today, and I will hopefully be taking that in today, and I mean, I might, I'll probably get $30 or more or something like that, so some, somewhere around 30 bucks. I do it on, on an average right now, 80 to to $100 a week. That's all depending on are there softball games, you know, when we get into football season, did I do overtime and collect it during overtime? Was there a music event, uh, filming, uh, swap me, all kinds of stuff goes into it. So it changes week by week, day by day, month by month. We have slow periods in the year where I don't really do a whole lot. Probably won't be making a lot of videos during those times. But, um, yeah. So, there's a lot that really goes into it. And as far as the, uh, like, glass goes, glass really isn't going to get you a whole lot of money. But... It's every, every little bit counts. It's like when I do my number two plastics and number fives and sevens and all that kind of stuff. See, that... That doesn't really get you a lot, but and if you don't know, if it says CRV or um, PETE or HDPE, you know, all those different things they say on them, and you don't know what to weigh it as, you know, what basket to put it in, what to put it with, you can ask <clears throat> the attendant at a local recycle center and he will hopefully give you the right information, depending on, you know, how good they are, how much they know. Um, how, you know, do they speak English? What language they speak? It, it all depends. Sometimes you don't have the best luck with some of those people. But um, where I go, everybody's pretty knowledgeable. And they'll tell you, oh, uh, this is better if you weigh these. These are better if you count these. That kind of thing. So that's kind of what we're looking for. You got to know exactly what you're doing. And you're going to be able to get more money off of it. So yeah, there's a lot of dumping, a lot of dirty stuff in here. So we're just going to kind of keep going here. And uh, yeah, this is just going to be a two-day haul. So it's actually, I think it's going to be pretty good. So we'll go ahead and see what they what they have to say about it at the recycle center. But I'm usually pretty good at guessing how much to take, how much how much I'm going to get when I take my uh, take my haul in. See, this is This is going to be weight for sure. It's got a thicker cap on it, so we definitely want to do that.
Yep. And um, at first, I wasn't putting my uh, caps back on my glass bottles because I'm like, well, it's it's not glass, right? But I started to see other people at the recycle center with all their caps on it. So I decided, okay, well, it's going to add extra weight, so I'll just leave the caps on. Hasn't been a single issue since. But I think some places will tell you not to. There, I heard of a place that tells you to take all the caps off your off your plastic bottles, and I I'm not sure if that's legal for them to say that or not because <laughs> because on the bottle it says remove the cap, dump the liquid out, put the cap back on. They're instructing you to put the cap back on to recycle the cap too. So I'm not really I'm not really getting where they're going with that. I feel like they're just trying to scam people and just try to give less money out. Which is the case with a lot. You gotta, you gotta do a little bit of research and you gotta know where you're going. Honestly, I've gone to questionable places before, but once I really started getting into it, I, uh, <clears throat> I found, you know, suitable places. I found places that that did what I need them to do for me, and um, I just stick with them. So if you find some nice people, find a reputable place, a lot of good reviews online. You could look it all up online search in your area you gotta drive a little out of the way that's fine i'm like right on the way home so i i i can do this all the time it's it's, it's no problem it's like hard i'm not even wasting gas or anything perfect but not everybody has that and plus if you if you recycle other things like if you recycle scrap metal and stuff then you might have to drive out of your way to find a place because a lot of the, a lot of those places around here that i used to go to they, uh, with the last few years, some of them went out of business or they moved locations. So I don't really know anything about that. And, you know, like recycle cardboard. Like you can go to a place that if, you re if you're recycling lots of different types of materials, you, this, you can go to places that are kind of like a one-stop shop. But I don't, I don't really know too much about that because I just stay within my, my area. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have some pretty good stuff. <laughs>